what is up YouTube? So guys, today we're doing a bit of a vlog. Um, I have a boxing session today. I actually started boxing last week. So last week is my first official boxing sessions. And today I have another session. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to the gym, show you guys behind the scenes what a boxing session looks like. I'm still pretty rookie, but I guess everyone starts as a rookie at the end of the day. So I just finished up with some work. We're gonna get ready for the boxing lesson now. And then I guess we'll see how it goes. What made you start boxing or get into boxing? Yeah, look dude, so I guess the main reason why I started boxing is and I've been gymming for like 10 years now and so because I'm a natural lifter genetically you can only, you know, get that big naturally until you hit like a certain point where you can't get any bigger and so for me it just feels like I'm kind of maintaining in the gym because I've been gymming for so long I'm 28 years old already so I just can't see my body, you know, popping much more naturally and so I just like to kind of keep pushing myself, you know, like I struggle to be sore the next day after a gym workout because my muscles and everything so used to the same movements all the time. I mean, there's only so many exercises and reps and sets you can do. And so I think like boxing brings a new element to it. Like the next day I'm like stiff and it's sore and it's like new movements that you need to learn, kind of a new kind of skill. So I guess that's probably the biggest reason why I started boxing. And then also it's weird because, so I'm just gonna put on my shoes. And guys, you can check here, like this is my cupboard. So I have like cupboards, I love Nike, you guys that have seen Nike, Converse, All Stars, that's my kind of thing. So I have a cupboard for each, this is my Nike cupboard. Um, these are some of my shoes. Uh, I think I'll pop these ones, yeah. So, so yeah, that's basically it. And then, like I mentioned, people go through phases, you know. When I was younger, I wanted to be that dude that's like super big. When I walk into a room, everyone should be like, yo, that guy, like, look at that guy's muscles and it's so big and whatever. And then you go through that phase where you kind of just want to be lean and stuff. And we just want to be ripped. And that's kind of where I am now. Like, I don't want to be the center of attention anymore. Like, dude, check that guy, it's so big. I don't want to be that dude anymore. I just really want to be healthy, lean and look good. And I think boxing brings brings that to the table um, because it's so much more cardio and stuff. So, so yeah, I'm enjoying the movement. As I said, still pretty new in this whole thing, but who knows, maybe in a year or two, I'll do a boxing match. I see it's becoming a really big thing, you know, amongst all influences and stuff. I think guys like Jake Paul are really bringing it in. So I guess we'll see what happens there. How has it impacted your diet, doing both boxing and gym? Yeah, them. yeah, that's actually, it's actually weird, dude. Like now for the first time, I am like probably more hungry than ever. <laughs> like I used to eat a lot of food, but now I eat way more food. You know, cardio, cardio, like, I think boxing is, is mainly a lot of cardio and conditioning. Like if you're not fit, boxing sucks, dude. Like you hit like a couple of punches and you're like burned out. So I think because I burn so much more calories now with the boxing, um, my appetite's definitely gotten bigger, so I eat more food for sure. Um, but I mean, I still stick to the basics. Low, I still try and stick to, you know, low calorie food to maintain low body fat, um, high protein, high carb, low fat, because fats have so much more calories in. But I would just say the overall volume has just increased with food, you know? What pre-workout is that? Dude, this is hype. So I'm, I honestly don't have like any pre-workout I prefer. Um, I just use it really for the caffeine just to get some energy, you know. In the mornings when I wake up, I do cardio first thing. So I've already had a cardio session before this. So, And because I eat so low calorie foods, because I want to be lean all the time, I'm always tired, you know. <laughs> and when your body fat's low, you obviously struggle to sleep too. I don't know really what, what the reason behind that is, but you struggle to sleep a lot. And so I'm always tired. So. I mainly just use Purecard just for caffeine and I like to mix it up. So I would just use a bunch of different brands so my body doesn't get used to the same one, if that makes sense. Um, I guess all of them have similar ingredients in and stuff, but obviously they won't be 100% the same. So one day I'll use the one, then the other, then the other, and I'll just like keep on mixing it up so I don't get used to, you know, the same Purecard. So yeah, dude, let's go.
So yeah, dude, we'll see how it goes. I'm keen to show you guys my new gym. I don't know, did I mention I signed up a new gym? Did I mention it? No, mm -hmm. I didn't mention it. So yeah, I actually signed up at a new gym specifically for content. You guys would have probably seen it on Instagram and stuff, already on TikTok. Um, the lights are very cool, very dope. They've got some nice like down lighting and like purple and blue and green and all these different lights. So it's a nice atmosphere for content. So we're going to go there right now and show you guys what the gym looks like behind the scene. Um, if you guys are ever in South Africa or you know pass by, I would definitely suggest like checking it out because it really, really is very dope. My other gym I go to is right across the road. It's way more, how can I put it, luxurious, premium. So you've got a lot of like businessmen and corporate people gymming there. It's not really ideal for content, you know, like people are very classical and chill there. So going there with your cameras and like just like rocking it, it just really wouldn't fly there. So that's kind of why I gym there. So you guys would actually notice I barely ever drive my car. That's why I don't have like a premium or luxury car because I just don't think it's, you know, it's, it's a waste of money for me because I never drive. I literally drive once a week probably like once, twice, maybe a week max. And so my car's always in the basement. It's so old, like you can even look here. Like <laughs> I honestly never ever drive the thing. That's why it's so dirty. So, I mean, maybe in the future I'll buy a new car, but especially with me wanting to travel around and stuff now, I just don't see the use of buying another car. It's just gonna be in a basement like this anyway. So, yeah. get this boxing session done uh, then I've got another gym session actually tonight uh, we're actually gonna film again tonight right yeah yeah we might actually film again tonight then we might do like a workout tonight um, maybe like back I think show you guys what a full workout looks like who's your boxing coach so his name is given very cool dude I actually met him so he's actually a boxing coach at the premium gym where I gym at right here at my house um, and so we started boxing together you know I obviously only started boxing last week for the first time where we had official sessions but before that I watched a lot of YouTube videos so I bought my gloves relatively early in the process just to like practice to practice the basics you know I didn't want to have my first lesson and I didn't even know how to punch or do anything so at least I know the basics and stuff when I signed up with them and yeah when I moved yeah I basically just asked around you know who's a book good like boxing coach and people recommended given very cool guy you guys will meet him in a minute and then yeah we started boxing together last week and I told him that would he be keen to do a content session which we're filming right now at this other gym because the lighting and it's just way more interesting you know and I also don't think this gym would really allow us to do really cool videos and stuff because it's busy it's very corporate and yeah so you guys will meet him now What's up, my dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna go boxing today, dude. <laughs> yeah, are you excited? Yeah, dude, I'm pretty excited, pretty excited. Um, but dude, like, I can't explain to you how sore my body is the next day from this stuff, bro. It's like, it's like gymming the first time, you know? You remember those first days when you started gymming? Yeah. Like, I, yeah? I also struggled to get sore, but... Yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. I have the same issue now with gym. Like, you got to push so much reps and put so much strain on your body. And you're not even sore the next day. With boxing, dude, the next day I can't feel my shoulders. Um, it definitely interferes with, with gymming, though, at the end of the day. You know, because, like, I've definitely turned down the amount of times I do, like, gym workouts, like, weight workouts. Yeah. 
because it doesn't matter. Let's say I gym chest yesterday, right? Obviously, this whole upper part is sore, and then that would complicate me boxing. It just interfere. If I did shoulders, same thing. So arms, same thing. Even legs. So it makes it difficult. Yeah, so this gym is actually like in a mall inside of a centrum with a bunch of different shops, which is a little bit unpractical because you've got to park. But I mean, the gym makes up for it because it's such a cool gym. What's up, brother? How you doing, my dude? Oh, good, man. How are you? Good, 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 brother. Good. Okay, cool. I'm excited for the session, dude. I'm excited, my brother. Excited, man. You Brother, how long have you been boxing? Man, approximately, you know, boxing is something that is in the blood. You know, my father was a fighter, my uncles was a fighters. So that literally was something that I grew up watching my father, my family fight. That's very cool. But dude. I started professionally boxing um, for three years, three years, three and a half years, almost four years, I was into professional fighting. That's very cool, dude. So you did like actually professional matches and stuff too? Yeah. I've had 27 fights. And tell me, what's the main reason you started? Was it because of family? No, you know what? Main reason, to be honest with you, when yeah. I was in primary school, when I was in high school, I got bullied a lot, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to find a way on how to get away from this bullying, basically. So I saw that, you know what, since my father knew how to fight, I went to my father first and I said, teach me how to fight. But he's a very traditional man. He said, you know what? Nah, 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 you're gonna get in trouble. So he didn't want to teach me how to fight, and so on. So then I took it upon myself, you understand? So I found a local gym, and because it's already in the blood, I didn't have technique or anything like that, but I had power, I knew how to hit. So one of these coaches saw me and they said, look, man, hey, you've got power, man, you've got, I said, ah, but can you teach me? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll teach you. And ever since then, man, I started, you know, you know, learning how to fight, and then I loved it. That's, That's cool, what made dude. me start, basically. That's cool, and now obviously you coach people doing it, yeah, right? Yeah, coach people. I got it. And yeah. are you still professionally interested in doing some matches or purely focusing on the coaching I'm side? I'm purely focusing in conditioning and training people and how Helping do. others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think for it. me professionally, I think I've already put my gloves up already, so I'm good with that for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the cool thing about boxing is it's a way for everyone to kind of escape the situations, right? And like you don't, you don't have to be, it doesn't matter what your race is, what your age is, how a rich, poor, none of that matters because you're not very restricted. I mean, you can learn how to box in your in your garage room outside with 100%. some friends. Yeah. You know, it's not like if if you want to ride bicycles, for example, you need to, you need to buy a bike. You need 100%. some cash behind it. Yeah. But I mean, if you really want to learn boxing, obviously getting a coach is awesome. But if you really want that, you can obviously watch YouTube videos. You can train yourself in the garage. You know, you don't need it. Condition stuff. yourself. You know. I think it's a very good way for people to escape the daily lives at the end of the day. Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And you know what? It's it's good for like you said, depression. In the society we're in today, you got a lot of people with depression. Boxing is a good way of escaping depression. It's a good way of escaping anxiety, stress, and self-defense at the same time. So I think I urge a lot of people, yo, get some boxing gloves, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get a gym, get a boxing glove, or get a boxing bag at your house. Doesn't matter where it is. You can do boxing from literally anywhere, man. Yeah, yeah, and I think definitely people don't think about it, but I honestly think boxing increases your confidence so much, and not just not just because you know how to hit a punch dude like in all aspects of life you know you know how to box so it just makes you more confident overall which in turn means you do better business you work better you feel better about yourself you glow more and everything is just an improvement so i don't 100%. think i think people think about boxing like it's just about fighting physical but i think it's about way more than that dude. 100 i agree with you like i said in the first statement i said it's not just for hitting people in the face man. If you can get rid of your depression, you feel better. If you can get rid of your anxiety, you feel better. So yeah. it does help you mentally. So it starts here first, and I tell a lot of people, it's not here. Boxing, the brain is not, is not in the heart, it's not in the hands. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a mental thing, it's a mental game. Yeah. So if you can overcome that, yeah. you can overcome literally anything. Yeah. Ever since I learned how to box, like my confidence, my brother, I can, I can, you can put me in a room full of whatever, hyenas, I'll, I'll come out of it, you know what I'm saying? So the confidence that I have, I agree with what you say. Yeah. 100% builds build the confidence, yeah. Cool, my dude, we're gonna get it. Let's get it, man. Let's smash it. 
why why is it important to wrap your hands when boxing especially for people beginners that don't really know yeah yeah so to be honest dude i can't give you all the technical the right answers um, i'm not a pro in this stuff but as my boxing coach explained he basically just said it's to protect your hands dude um, you know it's just like you hit one like wrong move dude let's say you hit with your pinky like one wrong you can break your pinky relatively easy in your fingers and stuff and obviously with gym that's the last thing i want to do you know, is injure myself on that level. So I'd rather be safe than not do it, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah. What do you do to warm up for a session like this usually? So at the end of the day, I think it's just important to warm up your body. So what we would typically do, you know, it's just some jumping jacks, um, just some basic things, just to get your body nice and warm and stuff so you don't injure yourself. Um, I think Given will tell us more about that when he gets back. So, Ironic actually forgot his mittens that he uses when we do shadow boxing. Um, and this, obviously this isn't his gym like I explained in the video, he teaches at a different gym. So he's just gone back to his gym to get the mittens and stuff. So, but I guess he would tell us more about that. Um, but you know, I guess it's kind of like going to the doctor, we follow the doctor's orders. So we wrap when we need to wrap, we warm up when we need to warm up. And yeah, just got to look after your body at the end of the day. So dude, what are we doing today? Alright, basically today man, we're going to do a lot of conditioning. All right? Got it. When I say conditioning, what I mean by conditioning, you see in boxing, we have a variety, you understand what I mean? So I'm, I'm going to work on basically the three fundamental punches, the three most important punches in boxing, which is your jab, your hook, and your uppercut. So we're going to do a lot of conditioning. Once we get that conditioning right, it's when now we'll move on a step further, you understand what I mean? For today, let's focus on your jabs, your hooks, and your uppercuts. The basics. Yeah, the basic stuff right now. And then we'll move up from there. Got it. Right. Got it, dude.
That was good, dude. Yeah, man. Exhausted, brother. My shoulders, dude. Like, of course. Will it get used to it later? Is 100%. it like, is it like anything? Like no, when no, you gym 100%. the first time, you're gonna get used to it. It's just that now, like I said to you, your muscles too heavy. So your body now is just saying <laughs> to you, the hell am I carrying? You know what I mean? So the more your body gets flexible, the more it stretches out. Just like an elastic band. The more you keep pulling it, the looser it gets. That's yeah. exactly what you're doing. So I'm you're like stiff. Like I'm very stiff, dude. And I think. Because like with gym, you know, we get learned to do very stiff movements. Like when you do squats, yeah. everything needs to be like very course, straight. Yeah, yeah, Arm yeah. when you do curls, very straight, course, yeah, you know, yeah. like boxing is kind of like... Yeah, yeah, it's stiff. You need to loosen out your muscle. You can't box and you're stiff, you know. And yeah. a stiff boxer is not a boxer. So everything has just got to be loose. So that's what you're doing. So those tendons are just tight. So you just loosen them out. And from there... So would you say I should do less weight training now that I'm less getting more into, training, into boxing? Less weight training, more cardio, more endurance, and so on. I mean, that way your body gets a bit looser. And so obviously you're not gonna drop too much, and so because you still need your muscle. And so I mean, that's your protection right there. But more cardio, more endurance, more road work, loosen out those tendons. Look, you start flowing better. And tell me, what's the big biggest things I need to improve on? Like, where am I slacking the most? What is it? Something your footwork. Brother. Footwork. Your footwork. Because you know. In boxing, the brain is not here. The brain is the brain is in the legs. You know yeah. So if your legs are stiff, everything up here is stiff. You know so footwork is the most important for me. If you can get your footwork right, it sends a message upper body. You know what I mean? You flow better. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you don't work on your footwork yeah. up here, I feel you're like stiff. It, I feel like it doesn't come natural yet. You know, yeah. when you're riding a bicycle, you know you need to do this. Of course, yeah. It feels forced now because yeah, yeah, I need yeah, to remember, yeah. I need to do this. The more you do it. But do you think later it'll be like yeah, that? Yeah. Like you just know you need to do the it? The more you do it, the more you remember it. The more you remember that, okay, I need to pivot. Now, every time you throw a jab and you see that that jab didn't execute right, you know why you didn't execute right. It, it, comes in, it, it comes naturally now, whereby you know that, oh, you know what, I need to pivot more. You understand? The more you yeah. pivot more, it registers. And the more it registers, it becomes a norm now. Every time you punch, you don't have to even, you know, think about I need to pivot because now it's just a natural reflex. Natural movement, yeah. So that what we're doing now is we're trying to build that natural reflex. That's it. That's so cool. It's gonna take time, man. I, and like for boxers, let's say guys that are at home are watching this, they wanna get started with boxing, they don't have money, they don't they don't have money or funds to invest in a coach or something. Yeah. How can get, they get started at home, at home? Like what's some basic things? What do you suggest they do? Just like hitting punches or like look, shadow boxing. Shadow basic, boxing. You start with basic shadow boxing. And shadow boxing, you don't have to be in a gym for shadow boxing, man. Shadow boxing you can do from literally anywhere. Whether you're in your living room, your backyard, shadow boxing you can find anywhere, man, on, on social media and so on. Do you have like YouTube. a YouTube channel and stuff? Or? Yeah, yeah, I got a cool. I got an Instagram channel. But not okay. a YouTube, yeah, still building a YouTube, but yeah, I got yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Okay, and cool. My Instagram basically I do show people exactly, you know, how yeah, to box yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. But anyway, my dude, it's been so good. I'm been looking nice. forward to this journey, my dude. <laughs> I Let's am, see brother. where we can take it. Let's improve. Oh, God bless <laughs> my right. brother. Man, that was good guys. That was really good. Uh, like I told Kevin. My shoulder hurts a lot, like I'm not used to the movements and stuff because it's still all new. But yeah, I enjoy it. I think we should record this more and then see the progress over a couple of months. I'm very excited. So guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hit me down in the comment section. Did you enjoy this kind of video? Would you like to see more of this? Or do you enjoy me sitting down talking about different topics? Or is this more interesting to you? What do you guys want to see? Share your thoughts in the comment section. I'd love that. And please guys, remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.